touching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Here's a shout out to a few of the people that support this channel on Patreon. Cynthia, Bonita, Lydia, Cindy, Karen, Yvette, Lynn, Donna, Tammy, Melissa, Emma, Keisha, Shanna, Dee, Marie, Virginia, Vanessa, Amber, Carolyn, Deborah, Jolie, Gail, Gayla, Sue, Leanne, Mary, and Marianne, Janet, Rue, Sherry, Kara, and Jeannie. Thanks, guys. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good morning. It's not morning. It's not here on the East Coast. Hello. So today we're going to be doing some easel cards. This is not the first time I've done easel cards. I'm even repeating one of the easel cards I did four years ago. Um, I share these projects with people who support my channel on Patreon.com and YouTube members and Facebook uh, subscribers to my Facebook fan subscription. I don't know. They keep changing the name of that on my fan page. Um, and somebody emailed me and said they couldn't open this. They could open the file, but they couldn't save it. And so it must have got corrupted in design space or something. It was really old. So I recreated the card and my assistant said, I've never seen that card. You should redo that card. So I thought, okay, I'll redo it because the video is so old. <laughs> um, but I'm showing you some more. I created some more files and like I even if this post was shared for this earlier today and after i shared that post i changed the blank file and added more layers that are completely free and i added another file um so there's a rectangle file also that i was gonna go get ready take my shower to get ready for today and i ran back and i said i have an idea i gotta make another card really fast <laughs> um so I did that and I just had to do it. So we're going to put that together. We have a butterfly, butterfly, a butterfly shaped easel card and um, some other ones that I created. And I'm going to try to color some with some alcohol markers to do some shading. So I thought that would be fun. Hi, everybody. You guys are amazing. I see all my members using my emojis. I love seeing my emojis in the chat. I can also see Restream Bot is working in the YouTube chat. So we also see the Facebook chat. So that's amazing. It's only worked one other time. Um, so if you're chatting on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch, your chat's going to show up in the video today. And You'll also show up if you subscribe to my channel or do a super chat or um, sign up for Patreon. So thank you guys for all you do. I really appreciate it. So we are here every Tuesday now at noon Eastern time and Thursday we'll be here at 8 p.m. with Carol. Uh, Carol Prevost, we're going to just have a chat. You guys can ask us questions and we'll try to answer them. All right, guys, love you, and let's get started. Shout you out to are watching that support Melody this channel Lane. on Patreon. Sorry, you had to hear that song again, Sheila. Okay. So, you know what? I'm going to do the butterfly card first. Then we're going to do this one. This is one we haven't done. Here are some samples of my circle card. We wanted to use some different paper. Isn't that fun paper, the monsters? This is Cricut paper. This all came from the same pack. Isn't that cute? So um, this, this actually, I was thinking more Halloween, but this could be used for any little boy for any birthday. These are just blank where you can put anything you want on this. You could uh, put a stain down with vinyl. You could have it draw. You could have it cut with paper and glue it down. You can put a stain there or just an image or oh this would be cute with a monster to make one of the, the design spaces full of monsters we could just put a monster on here and then down here put happy birthday or 
you know, happy Halloween or whatever you want to put. And then this one. And when they're closed, they sit like this. And then they open up. And they will stand up like this. This is another paper pack from Cricut. It all came from the same paper pack. There's three layers here. And it's they're, they're really simple. So I wanted to show you these. Let's do the butterfly one first. This butterfly is the same butterfly that I use in a lot of my projects. Uh, with my design space files, you know that I use Cricut design space access images. If you don't have access, there may be a charge like for this butterfly or this flower one we're going to do or the sunshine one we're going to do. There's possibility of a charge with this one and these two are completely free images. Um, if you don't have access, this one would cost you 99 cents. But if you've purchased this butterfly in the past, I use this butterfly for a lot of my butterfly files. So you may already own it if you purchased it in the past. All right, let's put the butterfly together. It's pretty easy. I have used black, oh, can you see? It's black glitter paper, Cricut brand. And then two layers of holographic craft board. Isn't that fun? Hold on, I gotta move my chat over here so I can read this better. And my computer just almost fell. Okay. Sorry, guys. I need to see what you're saying. Okay. Glenda, message me that question and I can show you what I did. I, I, I just kind of turned it on. My glue's a little runny. Just that first part. So we're putting art glitter glue, as I always use, and I'm gluing one holographic Butterfly to the other holographic butterfly. You want the holes on top. And you cover it evenly. So make sure all the edges fit perfectly. And then we're gonna glue this on top of that. And we got a pretty butterfly. And then we're just going to glue this on there. And I know some of you have never used paper that you have your Cricut only for vinyl. But you guys, these are so easy. Make a card. Who thinks they can do that? I think you all can. Okay, so this card is a thinking of you card. I didn't know what to put. I just wanted to make a butterfly easel card. Uh, so if you uh, are one of my supporters of $2 or more, you get this project. It has score lines here and here. And all you do is score it and score it again. Do it really hard. And you, you won't need anything in front here. You can put some rhinestones or something here or adds anything you want so all we do now is add glue to this little tiny piece this is the only place we're putting glue on this pink sheet oh you know what i forgot we're gonna glue this to that let's see if we can do it really fast before that glue dries. 
You don't have to put it on this pink piece, but I think it helps it go. There's going to be an edge around it. So you see some of the pink through here, and then we're going to put the pink right on here. And this will fit evenly down here. So when the card is closed, it looks like that. And when you open it, you can have it sit up like that. Although you guys can't see that because you're above, but then it will sit on a desk like that. And they can open it and just a thinking of you card, just something cute. Yeah, you might want to put some rhinestones or something here. Um, we'll do that at the end if we have time. Something that will hold this up. I was going to get that before the video, but I forgot. I was busy making more files. <laughs> All right, so that was easy. Here's another one. This is a rectangle card. And you know what? I want to do the edge of these cards. I'm going to use my Everblend markers because I want to shade some of them too. These are Arteza. The Everblend, I've done some videos showing these. Uh, what color do I want? This is Cactus Green, which I want the, the bold point. And I'm just going to do, there's many ways to do this. Of course, you don't have to have Ardisa markers for this. You can use Sharpies or anything. A lot of people just use ink that you use for stamps. And it just makes the layer show up better. I'm also going to just use the green on this pink one because it's going on a green layer. Oh, and I want to pop these up. There it is. I'm just going to use this scotch tape, scotch foam tape. And I'm going to glue that to that piece. So I'm going to glue this one. See, this is double-sided paper. The back is that pretty color. Now, you would normally have something on here. You could have a Cricut Draw, or you could cut out some letters in vinyl or paper and stick on there. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the outside of this. Kind of makes it look more finished. I gotta do this one too. Uh, somebody's asking, can I do a video on the new acrylic, acrylic, Cricut holographic? <sighs> yes. I had, do you guys want to see the shirt I'm wearing to the Cricut meet and greet? I made a shirt with it and I didn't record it. Um, but I plan on making another 
video using it. Okay, so now you glue this right on top of that piece. You don't want to put glue on this because it might, um, you don't want to put glue in the air. You only want to put it where it's going to, you'd have to be careful where you put the glue. And of course, this is just a blank card. There, so it sits like that. When it's closed, it'll sit like that. It'll show like that. And they can open it up and sit it up. So from the top, it'll look like that. Or from the front, it'll look like that. But I think that's really pretty. I like it. And you, I kind of like this because sometimes you want to show off the front of the card and it has the saying right here. So you can write something here and have it also say it here. You can just have a picture here and have the sentiment here. It's so easy. Okay. Um, oh, okay, let's do this flower one. Okay, we had the Cricut. This is a butterfly in Cricut Access, and it had lots of layers. And instead of layers of paper or vinyl, can I see? I had it draw. I just change the image to draw except for the outside image where it cut and I clicked on each image in the layers panel and changed the color of each one and many people have said well how do you draw in different colors you just set them to different colors and the Cricut stops and tells you which pen to put in it's really easy if you don't know how to do it you just have to do it and then you'll know it's it's so incredibly easy that's just all I have to say about that. Okay, I'm gonna do the edge of this one. I'm gonna use the bold tip. These are alcohol markers, but you don't, you could use watercolor if you want, I think. You could use anything. You can make thicker edges, thinner edges, and if you make a mistake, you just make thicker edges. That's all. That's gonna go in there. Okay. This is a flower that's in design space. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. This gets glued on there. And I'm not gonna glue, whoops. I'm not gonna glue all these petals down. I think I'm actually gonna fold them up a little. Give them a little texture or something. Okay. Um, now I have to look in design space to see what these look like. Okay. I remember this one. Okay. Here's, you have to figure out how this goes because this fits together perfectly. Do you see how this point and that point fit? It, you have to fit the points together, but it fits that one kind of, it doesn't fit this one or that one. So I guess I'm going to turn it and find out where it fits. It doesn't fit that way. I don't know if there's another trick to this. Oh, it looks like it fits that one. So it fits that one. So just turn it until it fits these points. 
Has anyone here ever put this flower together? Can you see? It's in design space. I don't know how long it's been there. And I'm probably going to have to do that again because now I've decided I want to do the edge. Somebody just asked, does anyone have problems assembling things? That's what YouTube is for. And to be honest, that's why I created my channel. Because I was putting things to. I learned first how to do paper crafting from YouTube. And then I'm like, I can make videos. So I just made videos on how I put things together. And with some images people have problems with, I show you how. But I'm not the only one. There's lots of people that show you how. And as you watch a few videos, you will learn a lot. Okay. Now, like I said, we're going to have to do this again and turn it. I don't know if there's any way. I don't think that is it. This might be it. No. Oh, you know what another problem could be? Because these are not fitting. Paper could be upside down. Because none of these. Okay, it fit on there a minute ago. Did I flip my paper over? But I flipped this over, so. Hmm. That does not fit. I know it did a minute ago. I think it, this is the way it is. Hold on. That little, no. Oh my gosh, if I didn't just do this, I would think it's never going to match. But it did match before I colored the edges. There it goes. Okay. You know what? I'm going to hold this like this, and I'm just going to put some glue here in the middle. And is that the way? Or was it this way? It's this way. There. There. Got it. <laughs> okay. Not this. Okay. So the yellow completely covers the orange. So that's easy. We're going to put this on the back. And you kind of want to do glue so you know you can move it if you don't have it perfect. That's not perfect. And this glue dries clear. Okay. And I know this gets stuck on there. So we're going to do that. Okay. 
I don't know if it matters. I'm not going to worry about that mattering. Oh, wait a minute. Where's the pink one go? I wonder if the pink one went underneath. No, it didn't. The blue. Okay, now we have to go to design space. Hold on, guys. Let me get this opened. Okay. Whoops. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. Um... What happened? There we go. Um, so the pink is on top of the blue, and you only see a little bit of the blue. And let me show you something else. If you've missed my last video showing this, when you click on this, it puts these layers in order. So there's a black layer to this that we're going to use, and then the green is next, and then the blue, pink, and then that little blue, the, this blue is the center, this little center one, and the yellow and the white. So we're looking here. So if you ever have a question on which layer goes where, it's right here in Design Space. So this, when you put the pink one on, you could do it without the pink one. Oh, you know what? The pink one goes this way. That's why I couldn't figure it out. So the pink goes there. I want to put something on the edge of the pink. These are all, this is all Cricut cardstock. Cricut cardstock is 50% off right now if you have Cricut access. If you have access, raise your hand. And not only is it on sale, well, it's 40% off if you have Cricut Access, but then if you have Cricut Access, you get another, you get that special sale, 40% off, and another 10% right on top of that. And you can use my code, MLANE, and get another 10% off of that. If you have $50 in your subtotal, but let me tell you this secret, to that uh, $50 in your subtotal. With this sale, everything is marked at regular price until you check out. So everything is marked at regular price, so that $50 adds up fast. Like you can have $50 in your cart, but you're spending less than $25. It's amazing. Love these secret access sales. Ooh, lots of people have access. Oh, I love it when you use my emoji to raise your hand. It's so cute. Okay, well, let's figure out how this goes. Yeah, I need to place another order too. I'm like, I cannot pass the sale up. Okay. We're gonna try to glue this on. And I'm just gluing this on here because if it comes out, is this where it goes? I know I just did this, but okay, I think it goes there. If that a little lower, if some of these flare out, that's completely okay with me. Like it doesn't have to be completely flat. Yeah, Susan says, when you get to the final checkout, woohoo, makes you happy, happy. Yeah, because like, wow, that's a low price. I need to shop a little more. Okay, now let's throw this one on. And you know what? We're going to go around this. You guys, I wasn't planning on all this, but I only have one more card to put together. We're really good on time, which I kind of thought we might go over. The other card has a lot more detail in it, though. 
The sunshine. Do you guys even know what I'm talking about? It's the You Are My Sunshine. My mom used to sing me that song. And I used to sing it to my son in front of other people. Or like, he would totally be embarrassed. I used to have a... I remember him being in fifth grade and I had a Chrysler LeBaron convertible. This is back in the 90s, mid 90s. And I used to pick him up from school and I'd sing him that song and the top was down and people could hear and I'm a horrible singer. He would be so embarrassed. Mom, stop, don't sing. <laughs> and I did it just for fun to embarrass him. Okay, uh, that looks good. I'm not worried about how this one goes. You do not have to match them up like I did or like they're meant to be. You can put these things on any way you want. It's your flower, your card. Do it how you want. And you know what? We're gonna pop this out. You could pop each of these layers out, but it would be really thick. So I'm just using the scotch. Tape. It would have been fun to pop out the yellow one too, but you know, I didn't think of that. I think that will go right there. Okay, so now it fits on here. And it probably fits a perfect way. Oh no. Probably upside down. Oh, that looks good. Okay, instead of taking this off and trying to find out how we got it, since we already got it, here's a trick I just thought of. Let's just keep them together and add some glue on here. That way, I'm not gonna lose which way it goes. There. I think it's a pretty flower. And this is all just one image in design space. And then we have this. Glue that. I'm going to put some tape on this. These are Arteza Everblend markers, alcohol markers. You know what? Let's fold the card first before I start sticking things down. So what you do is it has a score line here in the middle and a score line then in the middle of that one. And I'm going to use my scraper. To make them crisper. So we're going to glue this to that. So I'm just going to put glue in here. I don't think it matters which is the top on here, it's just up to you. Okay. Oh, there it is. And then this will go down here. I'm gonna just put this butterfly. And I'm gonna stick it right there. So then it will sit up like that. Isn't that cute? 
I like it. So when it's closed, it'll be like that. You can see this little corner. It might be fun to maybe put a little rhinestone or something down here in the corner just to add a little bit to it. And there it is. It's just a nice flower. Um, you could put a pumpkin on there for fall. You could put an acorn. You could put a squirrel. You could put leaves and anything else you want. You can do that on all of these. All of them, you can do whatever you want. It's unlimited what you can do with these, and they're so easy. Okay, let's, let me put the pin in my glue so it doesn't clog up. I need to order more glue. Okay, so I have these in a little baggie. I have this paper on here so I don't get glue all over my mat. So this one has a lot of parts to it. It has that little dot for the sunshine. Okay, it has a rainbow. Let's put the little pieces together first. I think it's just, is it? Oh, we're missing a piece to the rainbow. Okay. So that gets put there. We have clouds and we have a question for you. We have two types of clouds. So we have, I'm going to have to figure out what clouds go to what. But I have two silver linings to these clouds. I have silver Hold on, you guys can't see that well. Silver glitter and silver not glitter. So tell me, tell answer glitter for silver glitter or just silver for not glitter. And tell me what lining you want on the clouds. So we have silver glitter or just silver. So your answer is silver or glitter. I know I should use a silicone mat. This is just butcher paper. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Love you guys. I like the glitter too. Okay, so this is going to be our sun. And he is going to look like that. But I think he needs um, a little bit of fun. Let's see. I have not done any of this before this video. Like, I haven't used these markers to figure out which color is best. I'm just guessing. In the first video I did of this, I uh, used chalk. To shade it a little bit and um, on the rainbow I used vinyl I, think, I don't know I'm feeling like you know what I'm gonna test the back of this Let's see what this looks like yeah, I think that'll work. So, I'm gonna, I'm trying to figure out, I wanna just, how's that gonna look? Just to add a little bit of color
Yes, Susan, I guess you do. Susan says, I opened the link to the markers before the video started. I guess I need to get these now. They're fun. Oh, and I like how much that. Okay, now I'm going around again because I like the way I'm putting this more at an angle so it gives a bigger, can you guys see that? It gives a bigger edge by the, the angle that you're doing it. And they're not all perfectly even, but I like them that way. I think I'm going to go around this one again and do that. Oops, see, I got thicker there. So it's got one side, just a little thicker, because I messed up, but I think it's going to be fine. All right. Here's, should I pop that up? Let me see. What do you think? I think I might. Uh, what I use, Yara, Sarah, um, for sticker paper, I use the Cricut Printable Vinyl. I think it is such great sticker paper. Now you could, could you do that? Do I kind of, okay, you guys got to tell me there's a little bit of a delay. Um, should I use, do the sun like this? The sun was made to do like this and that color is just for the background behind the mouth and eyes. But what do you think if we do that? Um, Say yes or no. Uh, Linda's asking me what setting do I use to cut my glitter paper? I get a perfect cut. Glitter paper cuts better than anything else. I use the setting for Cricut glitter paper. And I use Cricut glitter paper, and it's amazing. Yes, the offset. Okay, I'm not getting any no, so let's do it. And then this just goes here. Should I pop it out? Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, I think I want to pop it out. I've not popped out the sun before. And this scotch tape, if you really want a good pop out, you need two layers or you need to use some bigger foam squares. I have more foam, foam, foam 
squares in a drawer over there, my adhesive drawer. But right now we're just gonna do this. And the circle's a circle. Doesn't matter, front or top. Okay, so the sun part's done. Oh, there's the other part, the rainbow. Um, oh, and the blue. Let's put the rainbow together. The rainbow's not too hard. You just have to line these pieces up. You'll see a straight cut on all of them on this right side and an uneven cut on all of them on this side because it fits the little heart. So let's go ahead and do these. So I'm gonna put glue. Gonna line that up. This one covers up this part evenly. Then I'm gonna do the yellow. And we're gonna place it down at the bottom of the curve. And make sure it lines up here at the heart and here. Although I didn't get that pink one down real good there. And then the blue one. You line it up at the bottom of the curve and even on each side. So it looks like that. Okay, that is easy. So now we have You Are My Sunshine. Let me go over these with some green. You don't have to do these in green either. You can do this stuff in any color you want. I did green because I have it on blue, which I think is the sky and the green is the grass. That's just me. Doesn't have to be you, whoops. This font, who can guess what font this is? That's fun. Do you guys like guessing? If you already have the file, you can cheat. There's no prize. It's a writing font, <laughs> if you didn't know. I like that font. It's included in Cricut Access. Do we have any guessers? Okay, so this word sunshine, I can't remember if it's a font or I think it is. I think I welded it together and I don't know what font this is. If you have a file, you can see, I think. I don't remember. So I'm just putting glue on here. You could cut this with vinyl. And that's gonna go here. You are my sunshine. And here's a dot. I'm just gonna put a dot of glue above the eye. And we're gonna try to get this dot over there before the glue dries. Go back. I'm just gonna push you in place. There you go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Choosing a font is the most difficult part of crafting. I do have to agree. Okay. Now, oh, we got to do the clouds. Let's do the clouds. We're gonna use the glitter as you guys suggested. Now I have to figure out. Wow, that matches. Yay. Well, let's glue this one down. So 
So I'm just putting some dots of glue on there. And gonna do that. Okay. Now you do not have to use all these clouds. If you don't want to. But there's a little rainbow on the card. And usually when there's a rainbow, there's rain somewhere. You know why these are all fitting? I think they're all the same cloud. Except for I reverse some. Flip some. Okay. I think we have all our pieces together. These are extra. Okay, let's do our base. And no, Cricut is not down for maintenance. Cricut is working. Okay, first thing we're going to do is glue this onto here. And so I'm going to put glue only on this piece. Yes, the glitter paper is the sparkle. Actually, this is not, oh, this is not glitter paper, the glitter one. It's, um, is it Sparkle Paper? I think that's the name of it. Cricut Sparkle. Let me show you guys what it looks like. I'll show you the difference. I'm going to show you the difference in the glitter paper. So this is Cricut Glitter Paper. This is Cricut Sparkle Paper. The difference is you can feel it. Like, can you hear that? Well, I guess you can hear it, but there's no, there's roughness to this, but not this one. This one is smooth and shiny, and it's like a mirror. So you can see me. And this one, you can't see anything. It doesn't have any reflection except for just light. So we use this one. This is sparkle paper. And it's on sale just like the other. So if you just click the cardstock, I think you couldn't find it from there. Okay, let's put the main big pieces on. I'm gonna put this on with some pop-up. I need to order more of this. The reason we wanna pop it up is because it'll stand up better and hold this up better. So that's, put that there. This rainbow, and you don't have to use the rainbow. I kind of like it to go behind this. So this is in front and this is behind this piece. And you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to pop this up. And pop this up here. And I'm going to add some glue to this side. So glue on one side, pop up the heart side. And I'm going to stick that underneath there. 
and on top here. And I don't know. I think I had like a cloud maybe up here. I don't know. Where do we want the clouds? I think I had clouds like here or here. I think I'll just stick it there. Maybe one here. Like I said, you don't have to do the clouds. You can put them anywhere you want. And I don't know, I thought I had one down here, but I don't know if I like it there. Maybe I can put it up here to show when the card's closed. I don't know. Maybe I only want two. I think I had it here, but I don't know. I don't know if I want it there. Maybe just two. Is that cute? This, I think, is just so cute just to give to anybody who you love. Child, grandchild, husband, wife. What do you think? Do you like it? So here's all the cards. Let me put my pen in my glue first. I used a black base. This is not something I use a lot, but I thought it brought out the color so well. And I just think that would be so pretty and nice. And I think just to cheer up anyone's day. And then this is one you can do anything with. They're just so easy. And I wanted to show you different papers that you can use. You can make it for little kids. For Halloween, I will have one I'm working on for Christmas. And the butterfly, so it's completely shaped like a butterfly. And I don't, this one's not, I don't know if this one's working right. And then this one. I love this paper. I really like the quality of the Cricut, not sticker paper, Cricut cardstock. And these packs, they all fit together when you buy a pack. All right. Now, has anyone here not put together an easel card before? And now you are? Now you think you can? I know some of you have never put cards together before. Who thinks this is easy? Um, I think I do get credit if you purchase art glitter glue fruit through my link. Possibly. I'm not worried about that though. Um, Tammy says this one is a popping card. Uh, can you only buy the sparkles paper in sampler packs? I think that's all they have. I think they have only two packs. Uh, Tammy says I always make it look so simple. That's because it is. You guys see me do it live. It really is simple. And you see where I had trouble on that flower finding how it works, like which way it fits. That's the most trouble you're gonna have. It's so easy. And when I share my projects with you, all you have to do is click on them. They open up the project in design space 
If you want to cut it just as it is, all you do is click make it and it comes out the exact size and everything. Now some of the blank ones you might want to add writing to them or uh, cut an image out to put on top of it or something like that. But um, it's really easy. Oh, did I not tell you the font? Okay, I don't, I don't remember the font. Oh, I can look that up though. The font of the sunshine. But the font of the You Are My, that writing font, it's called Awesome. It's a Cricut font. It's in access and it's called awesome that's the name of the font let me see let me open up my sunshine card and see if i can tell you the sunshine font uh let me bring you guys over so you can see how i figure that out okay here's the file i am gonna click on here it brings it here. I right click my mouse and go to image info and oh, it's not a font. See, it's an image. Oh, wait, it says maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe it's not telling us because it's welded. I don't remember. I just made this last week view cartridge so it is it's not a font it is on the cartridge april showers let me find it i'm not seeing it i don't know where it came from i seriously just remade this card last week so i'm not sure that is so strange. See, it's like an image. It's not there. I don't know. Uh, clicking on the image number works for me all the time. But it's not working today. That always works for me. It brings it up and puts it right here. I don't know. I'm going to have to report this issue. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to tune in on Thursday. There might be more than one video is all I'm going to say. I will definitely be here live at 8 p.m. with Carol Prevo. And uh, I might be live on Friday also from the Orlando meet and greet. Again, if you're going to the meet and greet and you want to meet me, that's amazing. But please walk up to me, say hi. We can take a picture together if you like. You have to tell me because I'm really shy in person and I'm not going to recognize all of you and know your names. Some of you, I know your little pictures, but I don't know you in person. I'm the person with the pink hair. You might see me. Oh, your shirt. Okay, hold on. Let me get my shirt. Who hand it to me? The other one. Yeah. Okay. So here's my shirt. I didn't do a video. I did a video on a teeny bit of this, but not all of it. So it's the mosaic um, iron-on and glitter paper and infusible ink. Glitter paper, not paper. Glitter iron-on and infusible ink. So it just has a pineapple on it. That's it. But I really like the mosaic. It's really cool. Isn't that cool? The mosaic holographic sparkle mosaic is that awesome okay 
Uh, and that pineapple is two pineapples in design space. Uh, I made it one and I didn't really like the top of it, so I took it off my shirt and added a different pineapple top. Um, hold on just one minute. I can't. Okay, Jamie says I may need to clear my cache on Design Space, which of course is the answer. Um, I think my Facebook is going to crash. Okay, um, she got that part of her cartridge working in April showers. It's a word in. April showers. Uh, let me show you. So I might need to clear my cache. And there was an update in Design Space. And um, let me tell you guys, this Design Space tab has been open for probably a week. And I have not refreshed it. I have not restarted the computer. So because of that update, it probably did not. Probably I need to just probably refresh the page. But let me show you the picture Jamie sent me. Where's that at? So there's a sunshine. So it is part of that cartridge, April showers. Was that the cartridge? I think it was. Um, it's just not showing everything right now. View cartridge. Yeah, it's April showers is the cartridge. Yeah, the words aren't showing up on mine. I just need to clear that. All right, guys. I will see you Thursday. Bye.